Have you ever had a piece of fabric where you wonder which is the lengthwise grain and where's the crosswise grain? I can show you how to figure that out and you're going to realize then how important it is and what an impact grain has when you're actually doing your sewing. So come gather in closer and I'll show you. What I have here is just some basic cotton poly batiste, the equivalent of a um, little bit lighter weight than cotton quilting fabric. So I'm just going to sew one direction here without any hand technique and then I'm going to pivot and sew the other direction. So Melanie, you're a brand new sewer. Which way puckers the most? This direction or this direction? This direction. Yeah. I can tell you without a doubt that that is lengthwise grain because when they make fabric the lengthwise grain threads are put on first and then their cross ones are woven over under over under through it. So these lengthwise grain threads have to be stronger. So without any special hand technique you see how many puckers I got. Versus crosswise there's more give to those threads. So I have determined that this is lengthwise grain and this is crosswise. Did you see where I had my hands when I sewed this side? Where did I have my hands? Right beside them. Let me do it again. I had my fingers right here in front. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to stop right there. This is proper hand position for handling the fabric as you sew. I'm creating a little bit of taut, T-A-U-T, condition of my fabric. I'm not pulling it through, but I'm creating some tautness. Does that make sense? So can you see the difference? Hands in front, proper hand. For 13 years, I sold sewing machines. It was just a necessary evil in order to have a fabric store, in order to pay the rent. At any rate, I want to show you some different features as we go along with these videos that you might want to strongly consider as you're selecting what sewing machine brand, which level you want to invest in. Now again, as I just sewed on this fabric, even with the taut sewing situation, I'm neglecting to use a wonderful feature that was found first on FAFs, P-F-A-F-F. -F. It's not FAF, it's FAF, and that is this gizmo. This gives you feed from the top as well as the feed dogs on the bottom. So now if I were going to conduct a controlled experiment here, let me put my fingers back in the front. So there it is with dual feed on. Pretty nice. Now let me take dual feed off. Fingers in the same place. Support my threads. Pull it out and cut it. Do you see the difference? between dual feed engaged and as any other machine would be. Again, this is vertical grain, but you can see the difference. Bernina now has this feature as well. You can also get that effect pretty close if you are adding a walking foot to your machine, but having that pull from the top as well as the bottom is worth its weight in gold. So strongly consider machines that have dual feed or some kind of gizmo here that hooks into the foot to give that pull from the top as well as the bottom. Part two of handling fabric at the sewing machine. Along with lengthwise, crosswise, where your fingers, where your hands go in handling fabric at the sewing machine, you will come across situations where you're asking your machine to sew up a hill. Do you see in this case I'm putting in a hem on some jeans where the seam allowance has already been pressed one direction. So right off the bat, I'm coming up a hill. Does that make sense? Yes. So if I have turned this under, now I'm coming up even a bigger hill. So what do you do? So you see, here I am. If you were in a car, you would step on the gas, right? Well, in a sewing machine, what you need to do is stop with your needle down, and all you need to do is to take some fabric I usually have a scrap of the same type of thing handy that I stick underneath the presser foot behind so that the presser foot is level instead of going up now it's level and so I can just keep sewing. Isn't that simple?
Now if you want, you can buy something that's called a hump jumper, which is just a piece of plastic, but that plastic has just two different thicknesses on it. That's why I always just err on using a piece of the fabric itself. So that's sewing up a hill with a sewing machine.